Ravens run. This is a 43 and 0 TDM move on C Town using a UMP with silencer and rapid fire. Perks were a scavenger pro, assassin pro, and syrup as my last perk. But uh, if you guys ever use the UMP, you'll realize that the UMP has a short clip. It doesn't have that many bullets. So run a scavenger pro as your first perk definitely helps you out. And I actually don't want to talk about the gameplay at all. So I want to get into two topics. One is, uh, as you guys know, well, you probably don't know this, but I'm a huge basketball fan. My favorite team would, no, my favorite team is the Lakers. Kobe Bryant is probably one of my favorite players, uh, not on a bandwagon as these guys are on the heats. But recently, they're getting a divorce, and I'm not the one to gossip or do any of this type of stuff. But the girl, well, the woman that he was married to, she's getting $150 million. Really? $150 mil. Like, now, how would you feel if you was getting divorced? Now, I know Kobe cheated on her or falsely got accused for uh, assaulting a girl. Man, you know that was some lying stuff. That girl was lying. She just wanted money or whatever the case was. But how would you feel? Now, if I was a basketball player and I got divorced and they was taking $150 million away from me in three houses, I would be mad. Like, she wasn't with them shooting in a gym, huh? <laughs> but... I just thought that was honestly bull crap. Uh, I don't think that they should split 150 million each. And plus, she's getting three houses and taking the kids. That's just too much. Uh, I think that the whole divorce prenum thing. Well, that's kind of his fault for not making her sign the prenum. And she was bad too. Why would he cheat on her? That's like she's like a step down from Kim Kardashian. And Kim Kardashian is my baby, so it is what it is. Uh, I guess it's his fault, kinda in a way. Yeah, it is. He shouldn't have cheated on her. She was bad as hell too, though. But I want to talk about the war. Um, I've read on CNN.com and I've heard from friends that there would be like a World War Three type of thing. Uh, I'm not sure. So basically what it would be is, is Russia and China versus Israel and America. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I've seen stuff. And I've learned never to mess with a Chinese person, Korean, Russians, whatever you want to call it. You don't know what they're capable of. They might kick you in your face, you on the ground, don't even know what happened. It's a tricky subject, and I'm telling you right now, don't even try to. Don't mess with no Korean, Chinese person, or anything. You don't know what they're capable of. So, uh, I've warned you, and now let's get to the point. So, me, I would never go to the war. It's not Call of Duty. You can't run around with blind eye assassin or just sit somewhere and say, okay, I won't be found. It's war. That is real life. Nothing you can say, bribe me into, or do. I will never, ever go to Iraq, especially not no Korea or Russia. No, that's just asking to be killed. But hold on for a second because I have a plan. Now, I'm not going to the war. Now, I was talking to him and he was like, the only way that you can really avoid going to the war is being the only child. And most of the people that he know that was teachers were teachers because back in the Vietnam War, you couldn't get drafted if you were a teacher. And I'm not being a teacher. So, you know what? I came up with two plans. Plan one is you got to be nice to these high school girls. Well, for me, because I have a lot of girls in high school where I'm friends with that I'm really close to. And I might need them later on for my plan A. Now, if they call me saying, yo, Ron, we need you to come to North Korea or Iraq. Hell no. Picking my phone right on up, speed dial, and your Laquisha. I don't really have anybody named Laquisha, I'm just making an example. But your Laquisha, can I ask you a favor? Yeah, what's up, Ryan? What's up? How you been? Uh, I'm good. Can I ask you a favor? Yeah, yeah, sure. Well, uh, I'm getting deported to go to Iraq or North Korea. Can I ask you a favor before I go? Yeah, yeah, sure, Tyrone. What is it? Uh, can I impregnate you? What you mean? Can I get you pregnant, bitch? <laughs> but really, man, I would do whatever it takes. To not go to the war, man. It's not my thing. It's not call it. If it was Call of Duty, I'd just slip on Assassin Pro, Blind Eye Pro to sit in the corner for like a year or two. But for real, man, war is not my thing. Now, Plan B. If you become a drug addict or if you become involved in drugs at all, sniff some coke. I'll do it. Whatever it takes. I'm not going to war. I'd rather go to jail. It's not my thing at all. So, my two plans are: A, get a bitch pregnant. <laughs> and if it's not one of my close friends, I'm going to the bar or slipping something in. I'm not going to the war <laughs> or plan B. Just find some drugs, get hooked on that for a while. So, my name is Ryan. Those are my plans for not going to the war. If you was getting drafted, what extreme measurements would you take to, to not get drafted? So, my name is Ryan. I'm out.